Welcome to the Melodyne Editor Tour about cycle ranges. In this tour, you will learn how to perform cycling using Melodyne Editor, which means playing a selected passage in a loop. With Melodyne Editor plugin, you can only activate cycle mode when the host is stopped. If the host is running, any cycling is controlled by the host. To define a cycle range, click and drag in the lower part of the bar ruler. If you hold down the Alt key at the same time, the time grid will be ignored, allowing you to position the start and end points freely. Double click on the cycle range to toggle cycle mode on and off. When inactive, the cycle range is light gray. In Melodyne Editor Standalone, you can also switch cycle mode on and off from the transport bar. Drag the right or left hand borders of the cycle zone to alter its length. Holding down the Alt key allows you to position the start and end points freely because the time grid is ignored. Drag the middle of the cycle zone to move it on block to the left or right. Again, holding down the Alt key ignores the time grid. If you shift and click near either the cycle borders, it will move to the designated position. As you will have guessed by now, the Alt key ignores the time grid. To move the cycle locators to the beginning and end of the current blob selection, and thereby snapping them to the grid, hold the Shift key and double-click anywhere in the cycle zone. If you hold the Alt key as well as the Shift key as you do this, instead of snapping to the grid, the locators will be placed at the beginning of the first and end of the last blob in the selection. In this tour, you have learned various ways of defining cycle ranges in Melodyne Editor. Hit pause in your video player if you'd like to dwell on this a bit longer.